So you've probably seen from the recent autumn budget statement 2024 that there are a couple of headline kind of announcements, one being around the employer's national insurance contributions. It's kind of a strange one in the sense that we didn't see this coming because they did say there'd be no changes to taxes on workers and it's a kind of indirect way because they've hit employers, business owners instead with this NIC increase. Uh, it kicks in, as I say, from 6th of April 2025, so it's not in yet, so it's time to prepare. And what I've put together here is a very kind of crude tool that you can use to give you kind of an idea, a heads up estimate of the likely impact of additional cost on your business. I'll put a link to this tool in the uh, description below. Don't take it as gospel. It's very much just a kind of uh, back of a fag packed kind of calculation just to give you an idea because all it's doing here is taking your number of employees and the average annual salary. Now, of course, it's going to differ depending on some people on 60 grand, some people on 20 grand. It'll skew the calculations massively, but it just, as I say, gives you a heads up, something to think about in terms of what might be coming down the pipe for you next year. I strongly recommend you some proper modelling and reach out if you need help with that. But, um, I mean, the key changes that have been made, so just kind of headlines what, what the current situation is. Right now, the employer's national insurance rate is 13.8%, and that kicks in on earnings for each employee over £9,100 in the tax year. So that's what it's been for uh, quite a while, actually. Um, and, I mean, that, that number tends to change, but uh, it's... This, this kind of 13.8% has been around for a while. What they did have was an employment allowance to soften the blow a bit of £5,000, which basically says if you incur any of this, 13.8 um, over 9,100, then the first five grand is offset by this allowance, so you don't pay anything. So if your NIC, secondary NIC, employees NIC doesn't go over 5,000, there's nothing to pay, and that would cover very small teams. What they've, I should also add here, they there was a restriction here such that if for larger companies, if your total uh, secondary employees and I see bill was over £100,000 in a year, then you couldn't claim this £5,000 allowance. Okay, so what announcement was made? The announcement was that from next year, the rate will go up by 1.2% to 15%, and quite uh, sneakily, this 9100 is going to reduce to 5000 so it kicks in much earlier on a much lower amount. So uh, to soften the blow, though, the employment allowance has gone up from 5000 to 10500 but, well, let's say but, actually, the good news is that this is allowable for um, all companies. There's no restriction on the 100,000 as before. So, I mean, the good, so the good news as well, the idea behind this is it softens the blow for uh, companies such that they might be in a better position than they were before, and you'll see this here. So if we take the number of employees, just assume you've got, say, four employees on an average of £30,000, you would have been paying broadly, roughly, uh, this amount. Uh, we're assuming the £5,000 is in play here. So total before allowance, 11K, 11,500. After 5K, you'd have paid 6,500. Because of this increased 10,500 here, uh, you're actually going to pay four and a half. So you're two grand better off uh, under the new rules with a team of this sort of size. You'll kind of find here that the sweet spot is around eight. It sort of flips over. So actually at eight, yeah, you still, um, yeah, you, you just flipped over there in terms of it's gone into a negative IEP, you'll pay more next year. Uh, what about the seven? Obviously, yeah, it's kind of neck and neck and seven, it's not far out, 560 pound increase. But you know, if you see, so if you see you've got a small team on 30,000 uh, pounds, then you're gonna be okay, no, no big difference. In fact, you should be better off. When you're kind of getting into you know, a more larger team, Suddenly, you know, 16 grand more next year in NIC cost to factor into your calculations. If you've got a fairly, you know, a uh, bunch of software engineers, or whatever, and you're, or you're paying, you know, kind of maybe more these days, more like, uh, what is 70K? Um, suddenly you can see the impact on the bottom line. This is going to hit your profits. Um, this is going to hit your cash flow on a monthly basis. Obviously, it's an annual estimate, but start factoring this in. You know, if you've got a team of, you start to see the you know 200 employees at fairly hefty salaries and you're looking at they're basically a quarter of a million pound to the bottom line and you have very large companies i mean it's it's huge um they might maybe paying quite as much as that but um it's significant so a very kind of rough calculator for you to have a look at have a play with see what you think and uh if you want to run some more detailed calculations obviously we can do that but it gives you a broad idea of what you're looking at. And this is one of the budget announcements that was made um, to have uh, some thought to uh, preparing for next year. Hope that's useful. Thanks for watching.